Welcome to an Auto Express track battle with a difference. In this video, we're going to be putting this modified Mazda Mark II MX-5 up against a brand new Boxster to find out if you can get Porsche performance and fun on a budget of just £5,000. In part one, we took my 16-year-old Mark II Mazda MX-5 1.8 IS to Scuzzle Motorsport in Winchester, where mechanic Nick Bailey installed an M45 Jackson Racing Supercharger. This increased power at the rear wheels from 113 to 196 horsepower. He also fitted some Meister R coilovers, EBC yellow stuff pads and turbo groove discs, Yokohama AD08R tyres and a stronger clutch and lighter flywheel from Fly Miata in the States. The total cost of the car, part and labour came to £4,976, while fitting the mods added £70 to our classic car insurance policy organised through Adrian Flux. We then spent a further £114 on a full geometry setup at Wheels in Motion in Chesham to ensure the MX-5 would handle as best as it could. And good job too because it appears I've been driving around for several years with the wheels all over the place. Now before we get into the lap times, let's first compare the straight line performance of both cars starting with the Boxster. The 2.7 litre flat six engine Porsche Boxster did 0 to 60 miles an hour in 6.2 seconds and the standing quarter in 14.4 seconds. So, how will my tuned MX5 compare? My supercharged 1.8 litre MX5 did 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds, which is 0.1 of a second quicker than the Boxster. However, it took the same 14.4 seconds to do the quarter mile. So the cars are pretty evenly matched in a straight line. But what about round a circuit? First, Auto Express resident racing driver Owen Mildenhall is going to set the time to beat in the Boxster. Okay, let's come round and start a flying lap. Just so much traction in this Boxster. Beautiful, so it's up to third gear, hard on the power. Down a second gear, just weight on the throttle, it's just so well balanced through these long corners. Just beautiful. On the power, just absolutely lovely. Sounds amazing with that sports exhaust as well. And the Max car's gonna do well to match this thing on the brakes because it's mighty on the brakes, really stable. It's just a stunning thing, it's just so well balanced. Really get the thing working on the way into the chicane, hard on the power. Third gear, oh, I love this car. I could drive this car around a circuit all day long. You'd never tire of driving it. The pedal's beautifully set up for heel and toe on the downshift. It's so nicely balanced, so much feel through all the controls. Such a beautiful thing. I lost us a little bit of time, maybe they were hand. It's a bit of an advantage to Matt's car, but it's so good through that high speed change of direction. Hard on the brakes here. Coming up to the line, last corner. Now the last corner, coming up to the line. Oh, cross the line. The Boxer did a flying lap in just one minute, 13.6 seconds. In part one of our video, Owen recorded a time of one minute, 23.7 seconds with the Mazda in standard trim. This means the modifications need to shave more than 10 seconds off the lap time, the Mazda is going to win. Oh my god, uh, straight away then, the engine, he's done some work on that engine. So it's got a supercharger, so about 80 horsepower more than before, and you can really notice it as soon as you get on the throttle, and the power builds from really low down. But when I drove this car originally, obviously it didn't have that much power, and it was a little bit soft and rolly, so Max got, got some different shock absorbers on it, done some work to suspension to try and help this car cope with the power. So let's see what it's like. I've got to say that in terms of raw acceleration, it doesn't feel far off the Boxster and the gearbox is great. And then the chassis is the big thing where Matt obviously made all of the changes. Now he's stiffened it right up. And now there's loads of grip, like through these long corners, I can really lean on the car. It's quite a lot of grip in the car. And then they've got this Yokohama tire that's quite a sort of track day orientated tire. So it's not a lot of roll in the sidewall. So that gives you plenty of confidence. 
and plenty of grip. It feels very neutral on this first little warming up lap. So let's come round and start flying lap and see what sort of lap time we can do. Now because the torque is so low in the revs, I'm not actually going to be using second gear at all around the lap. So we start the lap in third gear, 4,000 on the exit there, plenty of torque and accelerating across the start finish line up to the full revs. Now here, just trying to roll lots of speed into the corner. Now the thing with this car is the brakes aren't obviously anywhere near as good as the Boxster. So you've got to drive it a little bit like a sort of historic race car. You've got to sort of roll plenty of speed into the corner. And because there's quite a lot of grip there, you can carry a lot more speed into the high-speed corners than you might imagine. This is where we're going to lose out against the Boxster, braking hard down the third gear into the chicane. Again, not using second, then on the power on the exit. Really good traction, not even a hint of any loss of traction. Up to fourth gear. Now just up to a, about 90 miles an hour, just touching 100 hard on the brakes, and just look at that straight back into the throttle as I come in. So really good, it's stiffened it up and taken away that body roll that you'd imagine on a standard MX-5. Same thing here, just a little bit of oversteer on the entry, just a little bit of oversteer through the middle, but loads of grip, no squirming in the tyre, and you can really attack this high speed S. So flat out through here, really loading the tyres, but the tyres work really consistent, you can see front to rear, Hard on the brakes, down the third gear. Again, not using second. The nose goes in really well. It turns in really nicely. And again, lots of traction on the exit. This is a really cool car. You'd really enjoy driving this on a track day. But as we go across the finish line, what's the lap time? My modified Mazda MX-5 crossed the line in 1 minute 16.1 seconds. So that's 2.5 seconds slower than the Boxster. However, this was only 0.1 seconds slower than Owen previously recorded around this circuit in a Subaru WRX STI, and that has 316 horsepower and all-wheel drive. So in the end, the Mazda MX-5 wasn't as fast around our track as the Porsche Boxster, and in hindsight, I could have probably improved its lap time, had I done stuff like stripped out its interior, fitted the roll cage to stiffen up the chassis, maybe fitted some rock-hard suspension, but that would have ruined it as a road car, and I didn't want to do that at all. And you know what, Owen told me after driving it that he thought it was a great, fun little road car. And let's not forget that up to 60 miles an hour, the Mazda was actually quicker than the Boxster, and you know what, I, I think I'll end on that. Click on the video windows to watch part one of Mazda MX-5 vs Boxster or Subaru WRX STI vs BMW M135i. Click on the play icon to watch our very latest video or on our logo to subscribe to our channel.